Welcome, Sagittarius and cross watchers with Atheistic Intuition, bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid. That means for you this could resonate as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Okay, you definitely could be thinking about or dealing with a Scorpio. We also have Aries strongly here. Gemini energy. Out of the deck here we have the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Wands, and Page of Swords. There's curiosity here. You're curious about someone. Now for some of you, this could be someone that you work together with and maybe go to school with. You're hoping this person's going to initiate a conversation or, you know, start something up with you. You like them. You're attracted to them, but you need to learn more about them. You need this person to open up to you. It feels kind of unexpected to me. Like, you were not necessarily anticipating love or anticipating this connection to go somewhere. It's like, when you least expect it, you know, you meet the, the person of your dreams or the right person or something. In an unexpected way, at an unexpected time. I pushed you away to protect you. For some of you, this person hasn't made a move on you just yet because they feel they're protecting you. They're saying, please don't give up on us. So this person doesn't want you to lose hope that something couldn't manifest or come together between you and them. I feel alone in a crowded room. So this person may feel like really misunderstood. They may feel like they just, it's hard for them to have like really genuine connections. And when you and this person come together, it feels right, you know? You accept them, you see them, you understand them, you just kind of vibe well together. Um, I should have kept my promises to you. So for some of you, this person may have let you down in some way, may have been something kind of small, may have been something bigger for some of you. But this person, for some of you, I don't know why I'm getting like this person may have told you they were gonna work a shift they didn't work, or they were gonna call, or they were gonna do something but they didn't get back to you. But I don't think it was this person intentionally trying to hurt you. Dreaming of our future. This person does see a future with you. You inspire me to become a better version of myself. You motivate this person. You, you push them to do better. You know, in the past, this person except may have kind of pushed you away or been kind of guarded with you because they didn't feel they were like at the right place. But I'm struggling to find the right words to say. And then under that, we have, I'm afraid of how intense my desire is for you. And then under that, you know what it says? You are my first thought when I wake up and my last thought before I go to sleep. You are heavily, heavily on this person's mind, but it feels unexpected. And so because this person, maybe they weren't necessarily looking for something, whether this person had just gotten out of a relationship or they just weren't in the right place or, you know, maybe this is a workplace connection or something. It just kind of happened where they weren't prepared for it. And so this person was a little bit guarded, a little bit held back. They feel they may have missed an opportunity with you. For some of you, this person could be like your teacher or boss or something. It could be a bit of an age difference here for some of you. But it surprised them too because, like I so said, they, they see you as like the one dreaming of our future together. But I don't know, I don't know how to initiate this. Don't give up. But I'm nervous about being rejected. I'm still healing. I'm going through things. I do feel like, though, this person tried to kind of maintain this, like, composure or something, like, to not let this connection affect them, like, tried to remain professional or distant, you know, friendly, but just, you know, try to kind of, you know, keep any kind of romantic interest at bay. And this has kind of got you in your head, because I feel like you're kind of getting, like, these mixed signals, like, you can feel this person's interested in you. You know, you pick up on their body language, things they say, things they do, when they let their guard slip. But then they kind of, you know, kind of stay closed off. You don't really know what's going on. I do feel that you are very intuitive. And I do feel like you get this sense of this feeling that this person does have, you know, desire for you, interest in you. For some of you, they say, like, so they, they've said little things here and there. Like, this person's not fully coming out saying, listen, I'm in love with you. Listen, I'm attracted to you. Listen, I want to be together. Let's run away together. Like, I don't think that they're actually being that bold. But it's like they say things like, oh, you'd love my family. You know, you'd fit right in. You know what I mean? Or, you know, you, you've always wanted to live in a house. So, so have I. You know, you love that movie. So do I. I feel like, 
you know, I also want two kids and a dog. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you and this person just click and it just seems to make sense. Like you have very similar ideas, goals, dreams. They let it slip sometimes though, their level of interest. You're just waiting for this person to like make a move or do something and you feel they want to. For some of you, you have tried to be a little bit more bold or a little bit more confident around this person, you know, try to showcase your interest, trying to like help encourage them to maybe not flat out been like, hey, let's go out for coffee, but you're trying to kind of get this person to feel motivated and confident to kind of take a lead with you. They're thinking about you a lot. Let's see, what else? needs to be known, seen, and understood in regards to this connection, please. What else? Okay. Engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. You could end up marrying this person. This relationship could stand the test of time, stability, security, permanence, growth, soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. We also have here ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union healing heart healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction cassette outdated thinking condition you're playing events over in your head so yeah this person was trying to mend from a past situation they were nervous to just jump into something but they do see a future with you there's very strong feelings here between you and this person for some of you yes it could have been vice versa like maybe you were healing from something or they were healing or both of you but there's, this could be your forever person. This could be the person that you marry. Again, you have free will. It is always your choice, your decision. But this person sees forever with you. They want that. Dreaming of our future. Engagement. I think you feel like you've met the one. Your soulmate. Your person. Now, now you see why it hasn't worked out with anyone else. Because you and this person coming together, it feels right. This Gemini energy here with the lovers, this is your person. This is your other half. This is your soulmate. This feels divinely guided. They're, you just complement each other so well. You're so attracted, so drawn to each other. And there's so many similarities. And even where you have your differences, it's not like it's problematic. It's like your differences help complement you. Like maybe one of you is more introverted, but the other is more extroverted. And you can be, you know, maybe, you know, maybe they're very outgoing and you're more, you know, kind of laid back maybe it's kind of one of those situations where you mostly stay home and kind of cuddle up on the couch and watch tv or vice versa but when you guys come together you find that you cut this one person one of you brings the other one out of their shell the other one grounds the other one you know if one of you loves to talk the other one doesn't it just it works i just feel like it's just so complimentary and i feel like there's so much love and i feel like more than anything this is the kind of relationship that's built on a foundation of friendship and trust and compassion i do feel like you really appreciate this person's level of empathy like they just seem to get you but your fear is that maybe this person is just kind of in this flirty stage where they're going to kind of tiptoe around these feelings they're not going to do something not going to say something but i do feel like this person this person Sagittarius, they see forever with you. They see a life, a family, a home, security, ten of cups. For some of you, they may want to kind of start off small, ask you to like hang out with their friends, ask you to hang out with their family. Let's work together. They're going to be more bold. They're going to be more direct with you. I feel like the conversation just flows. It's so good between you and this person. It just feels right. Like I said, it's like it's like puzzle pieces. Just kind of everything kind of clicks into place dreaming of our future and for some of you this person they're gonna like i feel like on your very first date with this person they're gonna be talking about you know the future with you and that's you know i always tell you guys there's three questions that i always tell my clients my, my viewers keep these questions okay and use them for yourselves i think this applies to friends family you know co-workers any kind of connections especially in regards to romance i feel like these three questions really are really help able to help you guys kind of determine things for yourself number one what is this person doing that makes you feel secure in the relationship like in what ways do they make you feel safe secure valued appreciated number two how do you and this person work through obstacles and challenges now if you answer that question for yourself and you go well they always disappear then they come back around 
it is very important that you and your person can work through things, you know, debate things in a healthy way, find compromises, solutions. If your person just gets angry or gets aggressive or st stomps off or hangs up the phone or blocks your number temporarily, you know, that there's just a lot of immaturity, okay? Number three, does this person share or include you in their plans for the future? Like when they paint their future, are you in it? Right? When they're talking about one day when I finally get that dream promotion, I'm going to buy a house on the beach and you're going to have a garden in the backyard too because I know you love flowers. Or, where, are you in that vision? Right, This person is going to be sharing this with you. They see a very stable, committed, beautiful partnership and future with you. I do feel this person's making a move. I feel like this person is being very, they're like getting this like newfound confidence to really just kind of go for it. And I think it's really exciting. Maybe you're a little bit nervous, but this is what you've been waiting for, trying to manifest. There's a lot of strong feelings and this person's finally, finally finding the confidence to go for it. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.